Anyway, love, love, love the Max Road 5, and then this needs to go uh, sent to DC to the Smith. Let's go on All Hallows Eve, yes indeed. Oh my, we had a little block party a couple nights ago for Halloween and I went as a marathon runner. Thank you, New Balance, for sending this gold plaited jacket for last year's New York City Marathon, but which by the way, are you racing this weekend in New York? Let us know in the comments. But if I'm, if I'm winning the Olympics, I might put a jacket like this on. New Balance, I appreciate you sending it to me. It's a perfect Halloween jacket. Of course, I went as a marathon runner. All right, let's get rid of that. Here we go, little Frankenstein, little baby Frankenstein on the thumbnail today because uh, we are trying to create one of the perfect and best running shoes today. Upper, midsole, outsole. I get this question a lot. Probably not quite once a week, but it feels like once a week where somebody will message me mostly on Instagram Well, they'll say Seth, if you could only create one shoe Which components of different running shoes would you grab? So that's what we're doing. Actually, let's do a question of the day What would be the components of three specific running shoes to build your favorite shoe? I'm talking mostly about the roads today, but I will give a little shout out to some trail shoes at the very end but upper midsole outsole which three shoes for the upper for the midsole and the outsole to build your perfect baby frankenstein running shoe today now shall we dive in to the a6 noosa try 14 there it is the upper if i was building the perfect 2022 road running shoe i'd start on the upper and it would be the noosa as far as my favorite upper from this year the the heel i gotta remember my components it's been a little while the heel, and by the way i'll mention i have not tested yet the nova blast 3 or the rebel v3 uh they're soon very very soon but not yet so uh based on the shoes shoes i've tested we're going noosa try 14 for that upper and i love it the lockdown the shoelaces the tongue it's I don't, I can't even think, I mean, maybe they could increase the uh, breathability a little bit through the toe box, but really it's endurable but thus far for me. Very, very durable. Moving on to the midsole. Actually, let's put this on the shelf. Where is that Hoka Mach 5 Dual Density Pro Fly Plus? There it is. Come on now. Some people say it's a little soft for their liking, which, so keep that in mind if you're interested in picking this shoe up. I love it. I love the dual density. It offers a, a little bit of uh, protection for the feet, you know, pounding on the pavement, but also some pop. That's where that ProFly Plus comes in for me. I like the protection with that uh, bottom layer of midsole foam, that EVA midsole foam on the bottom, but then the ProFly is just soft enough to give you some pop and moving on to the outside so this is great all right which one should i grab we'll go kin bar at 13. now for the outsole for road shoes it's not you know it's not at the top of my priority list i'd say the midsole upper and then outsole if i had to prioritize them but it is the Kinvara 13 you know me don't love a ton of rubber on the outsole so the Kinvara 13 so lightweight shall we remind ourselves i think out of all three i just mentioned the k13 is definitely it is coming in as 6.8 ounces now let's actually dive into that comment of the day since we're talking about the noosa brett thank you for being a member of the channel he says from south africa uh noosa try 14 for him is his favorite shoe and he says because you give the best recommendation seth i don't know about that but i appreciate the uh, sentiment i try you know, and everybody's, I always mention, everybody's gait cycle and foot strike is a little different. So it might take it, I always say, make sure wherever you're buying your running shoes that they have a great return policy. All right, moving on to the trails. Here we go. Hoka Speed Goat 5. I know I got it. Where is it? Where is it? Hoka Speed Goat 5. I know. Oh, da, da, da. I, I had it a second ago. Okay. I know I have it out here. Time out. It is literally right in front of me. All right. For the upper, for trails. There it is. Come on now. Speed Goat 5 upper. Look at that heel flare. Butter to the bread. Unbelievable. Love, love, love the Speed Goat 5 upper. All right. There you have it. Building the trail Frankenstein shoe. Oh, wait. Hold on. Midsole. Fuji Light. I know. Now I'm leaning. I'm not talking about a racing shoe, but I'm just talking about a tra a trail training shoe. Fuji Light. Asics Fuji Light. Uh, one or two. Love, love, love the flight foam through that Fuji Light. Just the perfect durometer. Actually, we should probably do the durometer on it. Uh, actually, it's a little old at this point, but let's just see. Let's just see here. Yeah. Oh. 
42. What am I saying? I'm always saying 42 is like the sweet spot for meat. That's amazing. Fuji light. I didn't know that before I did. That was totally kind of random. All right, here we go. Asics Trabuco Max for the outsole. I know it's crazy. Two Asics shoes building the trail, like my favorite trail shoe. That's a little strange to get two shoes into three categories, but the reason I like the outsole on the Trabuco Max is if we're getting aggressive in the mud, in the snow in the winter, in the grit, I would choose, I love the lug pattern, all right? And the depth of the lugs on that Trabuco Max. Uh, but I also love kind of the length so that of the lugs so that, so you're gonna dig in the mountain, you're gonna not, I, I trained in this shoe so much was it two winters? It was two winters ago. Wow, that's been a lot. Two winters ago in the snow. It did so well in the snow. And then, but the lugs are long enough and kind of big enough that it allows you to commute. So you could commute on two, three, four miles of concrete to get to the trails, go run five miles on the trails and then commute back easily. Like it just did so, so well as, a, as an aggressive, I'll put it in the aggressive commuter category for the trails. All right, Asics Trabuco Max. That is it, everybody. Did I ask the question of the day? Yeah, build your favorite shoe, upper, midsole, outsole. Thanks for tuning in. We will toss it to uh, the road, we'll do the road running shoe matrix from like two months ago, all right? If you wanna see all the shoes I broke down this year for the roads, and I've done trail as well, oh my goodness, we've done a lot. So right here, right here, right here. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.